Уважаемые пассажиры, приглашаем вас к выходу в передний вестибюль. Высадка будет производиться по एक जगह पे बर्फ थोड़ी सी मेल्ट हुई है तो एक एक करके गिर रहा है वेलकम टू सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग अभी बस मेट्रो से निकले हैं और ये नजारा है आज क्रिसमस नाइट है तो नाइट नहीं है ईद है हां क्रिसमस ईद है बारह बजे होगा तो पार्टी वार्टी तो चले के लग रहा है देखते हैं अभी जाके एयर बी एन भी बुक किया है वहाँ जाएंगे और चेक इन करके फिर देखते हैं निकी भाई साहब ड्रिंक पिला रहे हैं खम्बूचा कैसे बन रहा है बताएंगे सो इट मे लुक क्वाइट स्केरी बट फॉर फॉर रियल इट्स नाथ सो इन रशिया इट्स कॉल्ड टी मशरूम इन इंग्लिश इट्स कॉल्ड स्कोबी uh so that's like a colony of bacteria which ferments uh okay. sweet tea into like some sort of lemonade and then we infuse it with berries or fruits so it's a very popular drink now in the united states and europe and in russia as well uh so we make it at home for some time already oh, is this mushroom This yes so this like uh this stuff it's like actually alive it's like a uh, i don't know bacteria, yeast you know yeast, like yeast yeah. or bacteria But what is it, this one this is big one this one this side this side uh that's yeah, that's it as well it's how it like oh. reproduces itself yeah oh, so okay. it becomes like in layers yeah so it's just like a yeast uh, layer <laughs> आज कुछ रशियन ट्राई करेंगे ये रशियन डिश है पूरा एक भी बुंद पानी नहीं दिख रही है पूरा ही फ्रोजन हो गया है ये है प्याज यहाँ पे जैसे है पच्चीस रुपए किलो ही है ज्यादा नहीं सही है बट इतना बड़ा प्याज दो किलो चिकन बन जाएगा ये दूध पता नहीं चल रहा ये गाय का फोटो है इधर तो दूध ही होना चाहिए 36 लिखा है गुड मॉर्निंग इट्स अनदर डे इन सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग हम लोग अभी ब्रेकफास्ट बना रहे हैं अंडा बॉयल हो रहा है और ये सब कॉफ़ी बना कर जो खरीद के लाया था जी कॉप्स फ्रेंच प्रेस है इधर तो ब्लैक कॉफ़ी बना कल तो दूध <laughs> दूध की जगह ही ले आया था सो ब्लैक कॉफ़ी पी रहे हैं और ये ब्रेड है एवोकाडो है तो उसके साथ हम खा रहे हैं ब्रेकफास्ट तो ब्रेकफास्ट खाएंगे फिर निकलेंगे आसपास शायद विंटर म्यूजियम जाएंगे विंटर पैलेस फिर एक सेंट पीटर स्क्वायर है और उसके बाद देखते हैं धूप तो है आज आई थिंक चार पाँच दिन के बाद हमें सनलाइट देखने को मिल रही है मतलब काफ़ी अच्छी बात है <laughs> हम क्रिसमस मार्केट में आ गए हैं ऐसे ही चलते चलते दिख गया था इधर घूमने आ गए हमने जाकर टिकट का प्राइस पूछा तो समझ में नहीं आया उसने क्या बताया एक बच्चे ने बोला आई गो यू कम उतनी तो हम उसको 
फॉलो कर रहे हैं ये भाई साहब हमें लेके जा रहे हैं शायद टिकट काउंटर होगा या तो फिर कोई होगा जो बताएगा कि कैसे जाते हैं कुत्ता भी है ये तो काफ़ी बड़ा मार्केट निकला हमें लगा था छोटा सा है कुछ इधर पूरा मेला लगा हुआ है थैंक यू बच्चे ने हमें आके छोड़ दिया टिकट काउंटर पे काफ़ी देर लिखे है <laughs> यहाँ पे पूरा छोड़ के आते हैं जब समझ में नहीं आता है सेंट पीटर स्क्वायर है ये अलेक्जेंडर ने बनाया था जब वो उन्होंने नेपोलियन आर्मी को हराया था अब हम है ये हमारे पीछे दिख रही है वो है विंटर पैलेस और ये पूरा जो कोर्ट जैसा इतना बड़ा दिख रहा है वो है पैलेस स्क्वायर और वो क्रिसमस ट्री दिख रही है स्टेशन के पास एक ब्लू कलर का मॉस्क है सेंट पीटर्सबर्ग मॉस्क ये 1913 में लार्जेस्ट मॉस्क था इन यूरोप जब बना था अभी पूजा वूजा कुछ होती नहीं है बस हिस्ट्रिकल प्लेस है हम लोग आए हैं फ्ली मार्केट यहाँ पे खाने पीने का मेला लगा हुआ है लोग पता नहीं क्या क्या खा रहे हैं हम भी खा लेंगे शायद So Nikita is going to suggest us some good filter coffee. Yeah. Same so same. actually, in Russia, we have a lot of coffee roasters which roast uh, filter coffee and espresso as well, and they are really great. For example, I personally prefer this brand. These are Moscow roasters called the Welder Catherine. Usually in Russia, during the summertime, you pay twice less than during the winter period. because uh in the summer you don't have to pay for central heating okay. and during winter you pay for central heating plus you pay more for electricity so it costs more usually yeah so whatever that that gas is burn what exactly is that this one yeah so that's a gas heater uh it heats water right away Okay. So we don't have a uh, hot water supply we have only cold water and okay. it is heated by this gas and okay. so but gas is really cheap in Russia it's cheaper than electricity and even water so you can burn a lot of gas and pay a little uh, okay so there are uh, also there are lots of uh, gas uh, ovens like not electrical ones because again gas, gas is, is cheap, cheap, cheap and convenient yeah yeah okay so electricity and central heating are, are two different uh, uh bills. yeah yeah because central heating it uses water so this uh like batteries i, I don't know it's co it's called batteries in russia but uh those elements uh, okay you, you you mean this one Yeah yeah this one inside of it okay, uh, okay. there is yeah. hot water so it flows and it heats the rooms okay uh so we pay for hot water basically which runs through those tubes so it's not electrical or gas it's water so how is is the water heated uh so water is heated at some like central station central station and yeah, they yeah some central station in the like uh 
pots. Bo so, boilers. Yeah, boilers, and then it's circulating. So if you touch this uh, uh, yeah, thing, okay. it's quite hot. But after this get cooled, like you know, how how do they get reheated? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not completely sure. It's circulating, circulating inside okay. the house, and then it gets back. Uh, of course, it is colder than. Uh, when it came yeah yeah, yeah. yeah because it uh, loses temperature along the way right uh, but then it is reheated at the boiling station so nikita says that in scandinavian countries the temperature inside the houses are not that much as yeah. in russia we okay. went to italy in may and we got cold inside the house uh in may in italy yeah. Oh, okay. yeah because it was colder than Outside? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was colder than inside yeah, in, in, in Russia, Russia during okay. the winter. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, and it was strange for us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like even I have been to uh, you know northern part of India, Ladakh. Mm -hmm. The temperature is sub zero, minus two, minus three. Mm -hmm. But they stay that way. Like mm -hmm. there is no heating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so I I was also like you know. I prepared that way like i, I didn't yeah. bring many clothes to wear you know but do they use uh electric heaters no 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 nothing no. nothing so, <laughs> so they just dress yeah, yeah dress that way and even during when you go to sleep you you have like two three yeah. layers and then yeah, you go to sleep yeah, it's crazy. so, so uh, i i was thinking you know i was prepared that way you know yeah. that i will have to wear this stuff all the time mm -hmm. so that's not the case yeah uh, that is interesting and for example, in my parents' house, uh, it is more modern than this one. Uh, and the insulation is better. So uh, during winter, it is so hot inside uh, because of central heating that they have to open the windows often. Oh, okay. To, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, okay, you mean you can't control this? Uh, uh, well, I can't control this, uh, yeah, because these are old ones, but in modern houses, you usually um, can adjust the heating. Okay. Yeah, but you need to place some, you need to replace the default uh, elements okay yeah but if you can't control it sometimes it's too hot and you need to <laughs> open the windows during the winter because otherwise it will be just hot uh, okay, at home. Okay, okay.